So we have a capture recapture study happening. And that was explained in the previous video. But what we're going to do now is we're going to compute how many ping pong balls. Uh, this is an estimate, so it's not exact, uh, but we're going to estimate how many ping pong balls there are. So 65 balls from the container marks them with a the blue dot. Returns uh, the marked balls container, mixes them. She takes 65 again. And 13 have blue dots. Uh, now, if we took 65 again and all 65 had blue dots, most likely there would be 65 balls total. Uh, if we took 65 again and about half of them had blue dots, then you would expect that about uh, twice that number would be the total value. Uh, and so what we have to do is get the complementary percentage here. So we have 13 have blue dots and we took 65 total. So we're gonna go and look at the calculator here. So we got 20%. So when we reach back in and grab 65 out, 20% of them had marks on them, which means that approximately 20% of the total number of balls are marked. 20% of the total balls are marked. All right, so that means 65 is 20% of what number? So what we're gonna do is get the complementary percentage. Well, that's probably the best way to do this. Uh, we could do a little bit of algebra here. So 20% of what number? That would be 0.2 of the number x equals 65. And we want to unmultiply. We want to get this on the other side, so we divide it. Oops. So that's going to be 65 divided by 0.2. And we will get the calculator back out. And, oh, I did multiply. 65 divided by 0 0.2, 325. So that's the total number of ping pong balls, 325. There we go, and that is that 325 right there. So again, we noticed that when we went back in and pulled out 65 ping pong balls a second time, that 20% of them are marked, which means that we marked about 20% of the total number. And so we just had to figure out what that total number was. And we just divided by uh, 20% or whatever number you would have gotten in your problem right there.